Now that the two files are, are linked together, we'll look at two major differences between how the files interact with each other after the insertions have been done either by project base point or by shared coordinate system. So the first example here, we have again just our architectural file and our structural grid. And this, these two files were um, linked together by utilizing the project base point. So again, if I move the project base point when it's clipped, that is also going to move the origin point, which basically moves all of the uh, model information with the exception of the shared coordinate system and the uh, survey point. But if you unclip this and move the project base point, it is free to move, and basically all you're doing is moving this one project base point. So for the sake of this example, I'm actually going to move this project base point to the intersection of column lines D and 2. And then I'm going to hit save. Now I'm going to close this file and open up the structural grid. Now in the structural grid file, now that it's open, you'll notice that the project base point in this file stayed in the same original location. It did not change to go to the intersection of column line D and 2. And again, we can go in here and we can move the project base point in this file to any other point. So let's just move it to B and 2. Let's hit save. And now we'll go back to the architects file. And you'll see here again, the project base point was not affected in any way. The reason for this is when you insert by project base point is taking that instance for the in insertion. There's no talking back and forth in terms of those two points once the two files are linked together. Now we're going to close this and I have another example of the same two files but it, they were inserted and linked together by the shared coordinate system. So first I'll open up the uh, architects file for the shared coordinate system. Now again, project base point, same type of deal. I can move this anywhere. Again, it won't, it won't talk or anything. Now with the shared coordinate system, if I unclip this and move it, it is free. It's not, you can see here the coordinates are changing, so that means that the shared coordinate system itself is um, still at the same spot. So if I undo this and clip it now, let's say I move from this point over to here, you'll notice that now the structural grid file moved along with it. Now if I save this, and now I'll go close this, go to the structural grid file that it's linked to. You'll see here that the grid, or really the, um, the linked file, moved its position. Because on a shared coordinate system, the besides just the linking of the two files and the geometry, the coordinate system is talking to each other even after the insertion point. So if you wanted to fix this, you can't simply move this back to the, the shared coordinate system and survey point in the structural grid file back to this point because what you're doing there is you're moving it again in the opposite direction and you, so, you can see here that the linked file has moved. So let me undo this. In order to fix this, we're going to get out of that file, go back to the architects file, and then we'll move the shared coordinate system in the architects file back to that original location. Hit save. We'll switch back over to the structural grid file. And now you can see everything is, is aligned again. Now one final step to note is going back to the project base point file. Now like I stated earlier, the grid 
the structural grid in here was inserted into this architectural file utilizing the by project base point uh, orientation. Now, if I go into the survey point clipped, so I would be essentially moving the shared coordinate system, what you'll notice is the grid doesn't change. And the reason for that is the coordinate system of this file and the coordinate system found in the structural grid file uh, are not talking to each other because again they were inserted by project base point and not the shared coordinate system. So that's one big difference um, between the two insertion points is that basically the project base point method just takes, takes that information of insertion points at the time of insertion and if you're going to link files together by a shared coordinate system that shared coordinate system will be talking back and forth between the files even after the insertion points are made.